This is a pack press, one of the amazing coffee tools that we use in our coffee shop. It's an automatic coffee tamper, which is considered to be the best around the world, but it's also the most expensive coffee tamp. It gives a fast and consistent coffee tamp every time that you tamp your coffee, which will lead to the best extraction. In this video, I would like to share with you my experience as a coffee barista on how to use the pack press, the different features on the pack press. This is the pack press Q2, the one we use in our coffee shop. It's really amazing, it comes with the different features. But to power it on, you need a power source. Then you switch on the power switch, which is located in the back of the pack press. After switching on the pack press, you will have a display which will show you the amount of pressure that it's using at that time to tamp your coffee. The pack press comes with a different range of tamping pressure from 5 kg to 30 kg. Every time that you adjust the pressure, you adjust it with 1 kg. So if you want to increase your pressure, you need to press the positive or the press sign. This will increase your pressure by 1 kg so that you can adjust it until the maximum, which is 30 kg. If you want to reduce your pressure, you're going to press the minus or the negative side on your pack brace. This will reduce your pressure by 1 kg until 5 kg. This is the minimum pressure that the pack press has. The pack press comes with a piston of 58 millimeters, which is perfect when you're tamping your coffee, no matter which pot filter you're using. The pack press has one of the amazing features. It has the different profiles when you're tamping your coffee. It has the speedy tamp. It has the precise tamp, it has the hulk tamp and the soft tamp and the single tamp. These different profiles are designed to help you in your tamping motion so that you can have the best extraction of your espresso. In our coffee shop, we use the speedy tamping. This is perfect for our extraction of our espressos. So to adjust the tamping profile, you need to press and hold your setting button until the menu changes. It will give you another menu for the tamping profile where you can easily adjust from the speedy tamping motion to the precise tamping motion to the hulk which is the heaviest in the tamping motion then to the single and the soft tamping motion. You can try all these tamping motions so that you can have the best extraction. But when you are using the pack press, sometimes the coffee grinds may get stuck on the piston. So you need to clean your pack press whenever you're in a busy shift. To clean your pack press, you will need to press once your setting button and the piston will come down. You will clean off the coffee grinds. This will help you have an even and a clean coffee tamping, which will lead to a good extraction of your espressos. One of the advantages of the pack press, it gives a fast and consistent coffee tamp. No matter which level of barista you are, whether you're a beginner barista or a senior barista, even if you're changing baristas, it's very easy for you to have an even and consistent time throughout your working duties as a barista. Especially if you have beginner baristas or if you train baristas. The pack press is perfect. It gives a consistent, even in a busy shift, so that you can avoid the injuries when it comes to over tamping. One of the challenges that I've come across when I'm using the pack press, one, if you don't distribute your coffee, the pack press will tamp your coffee, but you won't have a good extraction. So to use the pack press, you need to distribute your coffee. You need a distributor tool, or you need to distribute your coffee before you tamp it. Also, the other disadvantage is the price. The pack press is quite expensive for a coffee tamper. The other challenges I have faced when I'm using a pack press is the cleaning process of the pack press. Most of the time, the coffee grains will get stuck on the piston. To clean it, it makes the place messy, and also it might not give you the best tamping when the piston is having coffee grains stuck on it. So the pack press is very important, especially if you're working in a coffee shop. No matter which level of barista you are, it's very easy to operate the pack press. It's very easy to adjust the pressure so that you can meet the perfect extraction of your coffee. Even on a busy shift, most of the times baristas will come across a challenge in having a consistency in your coffee tamping, which sometimes on a busy shift you will end up injuring your hand. But using the pack press, you will come up with the best coffee tamp and consistency every time that you're tamping your coffee. 
to know why coffee tamping is very important, why it's one of the most important variables when it comes to the best extraction of a perfect espresso. You can check out my video here. It's about coffee tamping. It's a full detailed video. It explains to you the effects of coffee tamping and why you need to master it as a barista.